Breaking news in the Forex prop firm world, we see funded engineer under some pressure. This comes just after we've seen true Forex funds and my Forex funds sort of ceasing their, their business activities for one reason or another. Today, we're gonna to dive into what's going on with the funded engineer, um, as this is, a, this is a pretty notable prop firm. I've heard of this one a couple of different times. And I know a lot of you guys uh, may be familiar with this business and maybe have some questions about it. I just wanna say, first of all, I'm getting tired of making these videos. I've been updating constantly on prop firm news and it just seems bad news after bad news. And I don't mean to be the bad news kind of guy. You can't keep getting away with it. But I do want to also say I put out videos in the last few years warning people about how this prop firm space is the wild, wild west. And there's going to be a lot of bad actors. A lot of people are going to lose a lot of money. And it's not a regulated space. So I've warned many, many times. And I want to um, you know, point this out going forward still that this industry in general is something that you need to be very, very careful of. And before we dive into this, my general perspective on prop firms is two sorts of things. Number one, you should not touch prop firms unless you are a very profitable already trader. You've proven consistency over a year plus of trading. That, that is a, a given, but most people don't follow that rule. Step number two when it comes to getting funded and being a prop trader is don't have so much loyal to these prop firms because they keep blowing up. They keep going away. And uh, I don't know which ones are going to go away next. They're kind of all black box and they can, you know, clearly from what we've seen, a lot of them are bad actors, but appear good on the front. How do you possibly know? You don't. So you don't have all the loyalty um, to a, a prop firm in particular, because again, you have to be careful with that. So that's my thought process on props. Now let's jump into what's going on with Funded Engineer. So this is a tweet from Funded Engineer themselves here on their X account. Today, without warning or discussion, our dashboard provider for Funded Engineer decided to terminate our services, remove us from all of our historical chats and conversations, and turn the technology lights off from our business. On top of this, again, without communication, it was decided a negative PR campaign would be set out, of which no one has reached out to us for comment. We are working diligently to resolve this matter and will take all necessary steps to bring our business back to its success. In the meantime, please be patient and we will keep, uh, keep everyone updated as more information becomes available on how we will proceed. So this is their statement about what's going on. Of course, everything just kind of shut off, the lights turned off and their business kind of thing because their provider behind the scenes decided to cut them off. But let's look into why that may be. Now, again, this is all alleged and I don't have all the answers as to what's really going on, but clearly, the provider pulled for a reason. Let's dig into that. So this is an article I found on TradingView, FPFX, which uh, technologies here revokes license of proprietary trading firm fund and engineer. I imagine that that is, of course, the provider of this prop firm's kind of back end. FPFX Technologies, a technology firm in the proprietary trading industry, has officially terminated its agreement with Funded Engineer, a prop firm, signaling an end to their partnership. The company announced the termination of the license agreement and all associated services provided to Funded Engineer today, Wednesday, um, which of course that was yesterday. This decision occurred after a period of evaluation and consideration by FPFX tax leadership the company mentioned. Now, I just want to say, again, all of this is alleged. I don't know anything for sure, but I will say this as if this was my company, if I was the provider of proprietary trading technologies kind of thing, like if I was offering the back end, I wouldn't want to lose a client. They shut off a client because they saw something they didn't like. That to me is a major red flag to start. Again, think about the incentives. We always talk incentives when doing these prop firm videos. Think about the incentives. This company, FPFX Technologies, does not want to kick off Funded Engineer for no reason. So when Funded Engineer themselves say it, they didn't have any good reason and they, they're just launching a PR camp, just take that with a grain of salt. This company does want Funded Engineer's business, right? They're not kicking them off for no reason. There's an incentive for them to continue doing business, continue to offer services, they're making money. So think about that as we continue going on. Finance Magnates has contacted Funded Engineer for comments and we will update this story. So I so assume that's the um, the article source. Uh, so they, and we will update the story once we receive feedback from the firm. Okay. Okay, so I just found on PropSafe, uh, this is a, a popular prop firm um, kind of commentator on, on Twitter or, or X. Uh, important, FPFX, prop trading tech provider, has accused top respected firm funded engineer of a months-long scheme 
to mislead customers by creating fake accounts and generating fictitious payouts. At this point, I will for, await further updates before making personal judgment. This is the, the article here, breaking FPFX tech accuses prop firm fund engineer of fraud, wash trading, retail prop trading tech provider FPFX has terminated its licensing agreement with the prop firm funded engineer following an internal audit. Really creepy. And of course, a lot of people commenting, um, not a fun time if you're somebody who was funded with this and also probably a frustrating realization if you're somebody who has been trying to or has been funded by this company and then you realize, wait a second, there's alleged uh, inappropriate activity going on. We don't know that for sure, but again, clearly the provider of the services pulled them and this is what they quoted for why. So if there's some funny business going on, these guys are gonna know about it and if they don't like what they're seeing, that might be a reason they pull business, right? Because they don't wanna be involved with um, what could be, again, alleged fraud activity. Um, but if this is true, we don't know, of course, like I said, but if this is true, where they are faking payouts uh, to, to, you know, I would not be surprised at all. I mean, we all see this. If you go through Instagram or uh, Twitter, X or YouTube or whatever, you constantly see influencers with huge payouts. And um, now it calls into question, how many of those are real, right? We don't know, it's it's easy to, to doctor up a, um, a, you know, hey, you just got paid out $6,000, here's my link to join, right? And so uh, if that is in fact happening, of course, that is super, super uncool. That's that's not, um, that's, that's false advertising, right? If you're not actually getting payouts, but you're promoting it as if you are, that's fraud, right? You're claiming earnings that you didn't get and hey, here's my broker or here's my, um, here's my link to sign up, that sort of thing. So Again, I don't know whether or not any of this is true or not, but the fact that their provider who has, you know, they, this is what they do and they've, they've audited internally and they've said, that's not cool, what you're doing, or we don't want anything, washing their hands of it. Um, that's that's serious, uh, serious allegations and serious concern. Um, so to me, again, this wouldn't be the first time, if it was true, if it is found to be true, uh, it wouldn't be the first time that we're seeing fraudulent activity in the prop space. I'm not saying, like I said, that this is what's happening or not, but it's just riddled with it. I've said it for, for years now. This is the wild west of, of trading right now. It's the prop firm space. So many traders have no idea that they're getting completely taken advantage of behind closed doors because you don't know what's going on at prop firms. They could be slipping you more than you thought. Uh, they can control so much of that stuff behind the scenes. Um, and I know this because I've, I've spoken with and worked with a lot of different people who are in the prop industry. There's so much room to fraud and take people's money. And if you think that you know you're going to this and they, they, you're just trusting them on blind faith, um, you know that's how you can get really, really hurt in the prop space. I do want to say, uh, as I do in each each one of these videos, I know a lot of people get very frustrated with these sorts of situations and they, they get tired of it. I do have some links in the description if you're looking to just go the brokerage route. I have some uh, some of our sponsored brokers linked down below in the description and pinned comment. Yes, they are referral links. If you do use that, you'll be supporting my channel and my research, so you don't have to use those links. But if you're looking for just a brokerage, there's some great sign-up perks there and you can trade your own capital and you're not just going to get shut down uh, uh, and, and lose access to all of your hard work. So if you're tired of the prop firm stuff, check out those links. If you're, you know, I'm not saying all props are bad by any means, but again, we go back to what I said at the top of this video. My, my tips for prop firm trading are don't have supreme loyalty to any one prop because they can get pulled to plug on. And, um, you know, the, the other thing is, of course, uh, just, just don't even touch props unless you are already very consistently profitable, which again, most people make that mistake. So that's my thought process on everything. Again, if you're looking for a broker, make sure to use those links. Uh, if you want to support my channel, you don't have to, but I appreciate you anyways. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great day. If you're looking to improve as a trader, we've got some cool free resources here that I wanted to share as we close today's video. Down below in the description, there is a link to join our Discord channel or our Telegram channel. And we also have our website, a1trading.com, where traders can get access to free course material to help you improve as a trader. Remember, we are also live Monday through Friday on this channel around 9.30 a.m. US Eastern, 
broadcasting most live news events and that sort of thing. So hope to see you there. And also we do have a couple videos here showing up on the screen. If either of these seems like it might be helpful to you, then make sure to click here or here and we'll see you there.